Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Do English. I'm excited to bring you this video on the common errors in conversational English. A big and hearty welcome to all my lovely subscribers. And for those that are new here to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I would be happy if you could take a moment to support my work. All you have to do is simply click on the subscribe and the like button and share this video with your friends and family who are eager for content like these. Let's get started. Most of the times we make errors in English because we don't know any better. We have grown up hearing others speak the same way and assume that it was correct. But now you have an opportunity to identify if you make any of these errors and correct them. Now the first sentence on our list is what I ate in breakfast. This makes this sentence an incorrect one because the correct preposition has not been used. The correct preposition would be for. Now the sentence would be what I ate for breakfast. Now the second sentence here on our list would be please subscribe my channel. Notice that this sentence is missing a preposition. The correct way to say the sentence would be please subscribe to my channel. Thirdly, what is mean by? You could simply say what do you mean by? Or you could simply ask what is meant by? Meant is the past tense of the word mean. The fourth one would be, I can't able to come. You can simply say, I can't come or I won't be able to come. Let's go to the next one. I don't know nothing about it. Remember that in this particular sentence, there are negative connotations and there are two negative connotations here, don't and nothing. All right, and we don't need two of them in one sentence. You can say, I don't know anything about it. The sixth one would be, I am listening this song. Again, this particular sentence is missing a preposition. You can say, I am listening to this song. To is a preposition here. The seventh one would be, I would like to know how would you use it? The correct way to say the sentence would be, I would like to know how you would use it. But when we ask a question, you would say, how would you use it? All right. Myself, Anne. You can simply say, I am Anne. Let's look at the ninth one here. He don't understand. Notice that with he, she, and it, we use doesn't. All right, so it would be he doesn't understand. The tenth one is he is crazy for pizza. You could simply say he is crazy about pizza. The eleventh one, can you explain me? Again, the sentence is missing a preposition. Can you explain to me? The next one would be, I already take a bath. Already refers to something that has already been completed. So when you use already, you could use the past tense of the verb. I already took a bath. The thirteenth one would be He got married before six years. You could say He got married six years ago. The next one One of the reason and I'm sure you've heard this a lot. So the correct way to say this would be one of the reasons. 
simply because we are talking about just one of the many reasons. I like very much this painting. You could simply say, I like this painting a lot or I like this painting very much. The sixteenth one would be, could you suggest me a good movie? You don't have to use me here. You could simply say, could you suggest a good movie? The next one is a very common error that I see a lot of people make. The sentence is, I am agree with you. This is incorrect. The correct way to say this sentence would be, I agree with you. So the next one would be, I went to shopping. This is incorrect. You, you would always say, I went shopping. I went to the mall or I went to the shop is correct though. 19th. He is basically from Canada. You can avoid the use of the word basically and simply say he is from Canada. The last one would be I have visited Japan last year. You can avoid the perfect tense here in the sentence and you could say I visited Japan last year. We are here at the end of our video. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and help grow this community through your likes and shares. I would be happy to hear from you as to how this channel has been instrumental to your growth in learning English. I'm active on social media platforms like Facebook, Quora, Instagram and Twitter. Feel free to connect and see what we do. Lastly, if you're interested in getting tutored one-on-one, -on -one, send me an email. That's all for today and I will see you all with another interesting video.